and welcome back to the happy heart i am so glad that you guys came over today to see this all afternoon cooking i always say yes i hardly ever say no to stuff which is my downfall of life uh, my husband will tell you but a friend of mine asked me to help her with a fundraiser and so i've been helping her with this fundraiser at church and um you know, doing just little things here and there, but I told her I would especially help her set up and with the food. So the fundraiser is tonight, it's um, Friday night, and so this afternoon, all the things I'm bringing, I need to actually cook. So I'm cooking pasta salad, a regular salad, some rolls, maybe a fruit salad. I really need to cook some dinner for my guys while I'm gone. So we'll see how much I get accomplished, so just come along and cook with me. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you don't miss anything. And I will leave all the recipes or videos that I have done in the description box below or put eyes up where they need to be. So the first thing I'm doing is making my pasta salad. This, my pasta salad, I usually make with bow tie pasta. And I found these mini ones. And I wanted to try it with the minis because I thought they were so cute. So I am just boiling the noodles right now for that. And I have already chopped everything up that I think needs to be chopped. I can't remember if I need to put anything else. But this is just a Colby Jack cheese, a cucumber. I might chop up more cucumber actually. Uh, these are grape tomatoes that I always chop in half and a red onion. I will show you guys how it all comes together. So I was gonna make bread because I really like to make bread, but it didn't seem like I was gonna have enough time. So yesterday when I put in my Walmart order online to go pick it up this morning, which was very successful. If you haven't seen my grocery haul, I'll link it here. Um, I really did like that service. So I'm always curious what people think. So it worked out well this time for me. But I ended up getting rolls instead. And I haven't made these types of rolls in a long time. Probably like eight years. So I will show you guys the types of rolls I got. I went ahead and bought these kind. Um, there was some other brand. I want to say it's called like Sister Six something. I don't know. But um, I knew that this brand and the other brand were really good, so I went ahead and got those to take. There's gonna be about 40 people. I actually wish I would've got another thing of these, but I didn't, so they're just gonna have to live and be okay. So I had to run out for just a minute, and before I left, about 11.15ish, 11, 11, 15, I put these to rise. So I'm hoping that they don't hit each other. I've been trying to watch them, and it said, just to put plastic wrap over them, make sure you spray it really well so it doesn't stick. And my overflow is in here. And so those are all my dinner rolls and they're rising. I'll bake them right before I go. So this, this is the key for good pasta salad, let me tell you. I actually overheard somebody say this, like they were talking in a party and they said, oh, you know, that pasta salad was so good, and you know why it was good, and they said it because of this dressing. Well, I didn't even go to the party, let me tell you. I knew what event, knew the event they were talking about, but I wasn't there. And I thought, next time I make pasta salad, I'm gonna try it, and it's always worked out for me. So I've just poured a little bit in, put some of my stuff, actually I guess we'll do all of it. guys is mix it in a big bowl that you're not going to serve it in because the big bowl gets all messy and then right before you leave put it in a nice pretty bowl take it and 
you look like you have done wonderful work. And this brand of salami, you want the hard salami, and this brand you can usually get. I've gotten it in different states and everything, so I think all Walmarts carry it. Um, they didn't have it online, Walmart, so I actually had to go in the store, but it's by the deli. Kind of by a lot of like the pre-made stuff, like the pre-made um, potato salad and things like that. But this salami makes the salad. Most people don't, I don't know, they just don't think it's going to be there or something like that. So when I cut it, I usually cut it into thirds. And then cut it into just pieces after that. And I kind of just messy do it. And nobody cares, nobody knows, people just think it's good. Try to just pull it apart. Somebody's eating my leftover cucumber and salt. That's so good. Do your husbands do this? They like come behind you and like, what's that? Let me get some of that. All right, so I gotta make the salad that I'm taking. And guys, I get so many compliments on this salad and literally I just put a bunch of stuff in the salad and I chop it up really like small. A friend of mine who is a vegetarian used to make the best salads and I'd be like, how do you do that? And this is what she did. So ever since then, I've been doing it that way. and. I enjoy it better. I like to eat them better this way just because everything's really small and there's a lot of good stuff in it, I guess, too. So I'm chopping up cucumbers and I'm chopping them up finer than normal, not just like quarters. Like I cut them in half and then I cut them in threes. And I'm chopping up a zucchini, which sounds really strange, but it's so good. Nobody even knows it's in there, and it's wonderful. With the zucchini, I usually do it really pretty thin. And when I actually chop it, I chop it in half. And then I do at least three to four sections. This will get you to eat salad, your kids to eat salad. Nobody knows there's zucchini in there and it's just nutrition, you know? Just... With broccoli, Cut the very end of the floret off. And then I cut it even smaller. Same thing, people love it. Don't know it's in here. Okay guys, so I usually get like a spring mix and I used to get the big one thinking that like this is a huge salad, but I've come to find out that the regular size one, the five ounce one, works just perfect. The other thing I do with lettuce is I do the same thing. I put everything, um, oh my oven's preheated, um, I chop up everything really fine. So that means the lettuce too and it makes a difference. And I want to say people notice, but they don't know what they're noticing, so that's more of like what happens to me. It's like most of the time people are like, there's something different, and they really like it, but they don't know why. So I just go through, so I just go through, and I make big chops, 
but basically I'm just chopping everything to like a smaller, just a smaller ratio. I like this spring mix because it has arugula, spinach, all the, all the good stuff. And so I kind of rough, rough chop wherever I feel like it needs to be chopped. And then I throw it in the bowl. Same thing with this. Same thing with this. You want to put it in a really big bowl, mix it up, and then put it in a smaller serving bowl. Today, I don't know what I'll end up doing. I don't know if I'll end up changing or not. But, alright, so I'm going to put all of my stuff in. The carrots were kicking my butt, so I didn't chop any more of those. <laughs> but, that's okay. If I have cheese, like any type of cheddar cheese, I usually put that on top. And so I'll just put like a handful, a couple handfuls. If I have, if I have eggs or anything like that, like hard boiled eggs, I'll put that in. Um, and then the other thing that really makes the salad is some kind of nuts and some kind of like a dried uh, fruit. So I usually use dried cranberries and pecans. And so um, I used to buy them separate and this is the cheapest alternative that I've found. I think it's like $1.74 from Walmart and it has them both together. The only weird thing I do is I open this and I chop it up smaller. So you guys can see, I just kind of try to chop it up a little bit smaller. It's mostly for the sake of the nuts. I'll chop up radishes or I'll find the diced radishes so good or I'll do um, mushrooms sounds really weird but I chop them up really fine put them in here nobody knows they're here and oh my gosh they're it makes it let me tell you totally forgot today though 